Hi, I'm Angela Nicholson from Camera Jabber and I'm here with Theo from Fuji. You've got a very exciting day. Sorry, a very exciting day today, haven't you? We do. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's been a long time coming, yeah. um, but uh, after our announcement at Fertokino of uh, the geo new, brand new GFX system, today's the day we can actually reveal all. Pricing, Fantastic. full spec, the whole kit caboodle. But it doesn't stop there. We've also got the brand new X100F, right. XT20, yeah. and also a brand new uh, 50, mil, 50 millimeter F2 for the X series range too. Okay, so what's special about that, that 50 mil? Um, <coughs> it's, the tr it's, uh, it's the next step in our smaller lenses. So right. we had uh, we launched a 35 mil F2, a 23 mil F2, and now we have a 50 mil F2. Mm -hmm. Ideal for the um, rangefinder style cameras, it, the whole package looks a lot smaller, yeah. uh, they're weather resistant as well, um, great for traveling. Yeah, so good with Expo 2. Expo 2, I'd say, is the ideal kind of uh, um, camera for that kind yeah. of uh, lens, um, and, and it just looks beautiful as well. So. Yeah, great, okay. So you've got a GFX I do. there. I do. Don't tease me any longer, can you have a look at it please? You can. So, okay. this is the so this camera. Is the medium format camera. It is, um, and I'm gonna. You put the standard lens on it. Hold right, on a second. Yeah, great. So the GFX uh, 50s is officially announced this morning at 5:30 a.m. Um, I think the internet's gone mad already. Um, it's been very, very exciting um, to read all the comments, which is positive. Yeah. Um, and um, we're really excited that we've got one here to show today. Um, as you can see, the way it sits in my hand, no bigger than your average full-frame DSLR. No. Um, and the styling of it, uh, I think, is really, really attractive. Yeah. Um, it's got a viewfinder, which is uh, which is uh, mm -hmm. detachable. Um, I just removed those. Okay, so like that's that. very familiar for film medium format users. Yeah. And you can buy, which is an optional extra, a tilt adapter. The tilt goes on there. This is on top, and actually yeah. you can rotate up and down as well. So that's really, really easy. versatile. The only, the great thing about this design is that you can. If you're an X-Series user, especially an X-T2, mm -hmm. you've, you're familiar with the whole system straight yeah. away. So, medium format has always been very, very niche. Uh, we really want to bring medium format um, to more to the masses. Um, this is a professional camera, um, but we find it very, very easy to use. So, if you yeah. are familiar with the Fujifilm setup, um, you should be able to pick one of these up and use yeah. it almost immediately. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a shutter speed dial here. Yep. Yeah, you've got is that sensitivity there? Yep. And then is an aperture ring? The aperture ring's on the lens. Yeah. So as I said, very familiar towards uh, the rest of our X series range. Um, on the back we have a, a new L C D screen which is tiltable. And, and like, it's touch sensitive, isn't it? And it's yeah. touch sensitive, yeah. Fantastic. So um, like the X um, X T. Yeah. You can rotate it. Right, so it works in landscape right. and yeah. portrait format. Yeah. That's great. Very um, nice. I've also got, what else have I got in this bag? Right, I also have the grip. Pretty got speedy, focusing. Yeah, it has the same processor as um, the the X Pro 2 and the X T 2. Actually, it's got two, got two of those processors, okay. which makes it more powerful yeah. using the X Pro to the Pro. So when you do compare this to um, other media format cameras, what you'll find um, is that it's much more responsive uh, in terms of focusing. Right. And it, it works exactly like a mirrorless camera. It's just a bigger sensor. Yeah. Um, and um, but the quality from this, as, as people know from our other, um, <coughs> other X-series cameras, it's, it's going to be excellent. And it's 1.7 times the size of the full frame, uh, full frame so 35 mm. Yeah. Great. So if you're, a, if you're a portrait photographer, uh, fashion, this kind of thing, you can handle it very, very easily, I'd say. And what do you say the price is? So the camera body is uh, £6,199, including VAT. Yeah. Um, the 63mm lens, which is the lens you have there, that's £1,399, including VAT. Uh, the two other lenses, which is the zoom lens, uh, which I have here as well. Here it is here. Zoom lens is 32 to 64, um, f4 constant. Uh, this lens is um, uh, 2,199 pounds. And the final lens I have is the 120 millimeter lens, uh, macro, which is also an f4, uh, and this is 2,599 pounds. Okay. So we 
we made a commitment back at Fotokina that the camera lens will be um, significantly under ten thousand yeah. dollars, and we feel I feel that we've achieved that. Yeah. Um, and I hope people are excited about the whole package and, and the uh, and the price of it too. I'm really looking forward to shooting with it. It seems you know very responsive. I love all the handling. It's great. It's traditional controls, touch screen. Very exciting. Yes, very exciting. It's weather resistant. It's got two, two class slot. Brand new battery system. Yeah. You know, obviously, you need it. It's more much more powerful. Um, but no, we're very excited and yeah. we're excited to get it into people's hands and to, to get some positive feedback. Good. Yeah, it feels really comfortable, I have to say, in my hands. So I'm out to keep hold of this. <laughs> anyway, we better let you get on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.